welcome back. This is Mary from Around the Craft Room. Thank you for coming back over and seeing what I've got going on this week. I was going through some of my old supplies and I came across this foam that's really thin. It's, it's a sheet of foam. And um, I looked it up on Amazon. You can still buy these. I've had it for years. Obviously had some yellow ones too because I've got some that's already cut out. But I want to show you what you can do with this foam. You can take it to your die cut if you have any steel dies like this that's got the steel bases in them. I got some Sizzix ones. You take it to your Big Shot or any of the platforms you have that will cut these big dies. We're going to cut some foam out and show you what I did. So I took a piece of the foam just like this and I put it in my... Um, through my big shot and you just lay it on here like this make sure it covers the whole die and you just run it through your die cutting machine like this okay Let's see what we got and there he is just pull his little eyes out now he's ready to use on any of your projects now you're thinking well he's awfully skinny but, of course, this is where your water comes in. And just throw him in a bottle of water. And now he's a nice, big, fat sponge. Anyway, so that's all you have to do to cut things out of this foam. I've cut out several things. I've cut out the flowers out of this one. This is the little Christmas light. But, what if you don't have this? foam what else can you use so I always like being able to show um, everyone other things that they can use if they don't have all of this so I went to the Dollar Tree and so I was looking for just regular uh, foam squares to wash dishes or something I could never find any this is the only thing I found is the foam that has this cleaning pad on the back of it. So I just took off this uh, pad here. So take that piece off, I don't need that. And so we're gonna to try to find something that will fit in this square. That's the only problem, of course, is finding a design that will fit in this square. So I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking this flower, I don't think I have that flower cut out. So I'll take that flower. Oh, and there's a little circle too. So maybe I can get that too in there. So I need to lay it like this to be able to get the circle and the flower. I'll put it on my platforms like this. And I know it's a little thick, but I'm pretty sure that's going to smash down pretty good. And then just start it through the die cutting machine. Let me see what happens. Okay, look at this. There's our flower. Now that's the rough side that I cut off, but this is, that's really neat. And there's the little circle. And we got a piece there. You might, I might be able to get a leaf here out of this. Let's try that big leaf for my flowers. And there we go. I got a leaf. So if you can't find this foam, this flat uh, pressed foam, maybe you can use just any kind of foam you can find. Okay, so I'm going to clean this up a bit and get ready to show you what we can do with them. Okay, so I've already been playing with this for a little while. I have several designs cut out. I have these and these are already wet because I've been playing with them. So I've taken different kinds of medium and I have used the acrylic paints just from Walmart. These are just apple barrel acrylic paints. And I've taken just some white fabric. And I took some acrylic paints and I have done some of the big stamps here. Now, what I've discovered is you need to have this damp but not sopping wet. Make sure that you put like something underneath to protect whatever you got under here. And if you're doing a t-shirt, 
make sure that you put something between the t-shirt so you can head just be one layer so it won't go through to the back side or whatever so what i've done is i've taken this and since i didn't want a whole lot of paint on here i wanted to stamp some of it off so i found some tissue paper and i stamp off on my tissue paper before i stamp it onto my fabric plus it also gives you some neat background on this tissue paper you can use this as wrapping paper or put it in your journals or whatever you want it to do. Now, after I did this, I went and let it dry good. And then I took it to the iron and put a piece of uh, cardstock on it, on the bottom of it, and then covered it with a piece of just paper and then heat set it. So I've heat set this in the, the fabric. The reason I'm gonna do that is here in a little bit, I'm gonna go wash this and I'm gonna see how much of it's gonna stay in there for you. This one I did, again, with some more of the acrylic paints from Walmart. So this is some more I did out of some other designs. Again, this is just on a piece of white fabric. Okay, so that's what I did with that. But this one I used the Dollar Tree acrylic paints. And then I just took a paintbrush with the acrylic paints and painted the inside of the butterflies. I also took these to my iron and heat set them in. I'm going to wash these to see how they'll hold up. These are done with a set of artist acrylic paints. I don't know if they'll hold up any better or whether they'll end up being the same, but that's what I did this with. Now the one I don't think is going to hold up in the wash, but we're going to try it anyway. Again, I heat set all these. This one is watercolor. So I took my watercolor paints. Let's do that frog. So I'm gonna put him in the water, let him get wet again, and smash him pretty much all out. And I'm just going to wet my green paints here. And I'm just going to take him and smash him into the paints. Get quite a bit of paint on him. You could probably take a paintbrush and, and paint him on there too if you wanted to. So again, I don't know, I mean, since I'm putting it on fabric, I don't know if it will show up at all, but he really does a really cute design if you put him on, if you do uh, paper designs with them. Okay, so we're just gonna smash him on there. Uh, he didn't show up a whole lot, but I might just try him again. And since he's just a simple design, he I can probably pretty pretty much pretty much put him back on where he was. I think so. There he is. Okay, so let's see if I just uh, put more water on the in the paint there and if I just brush it on see if that makes a difference let's try them over here and then I always you could always come around him with a paintbrush and outline him a little bit if you wanted to Okay, now the thing about uh, your sponges also is you need to wash them up pretty quickly. Well, with the watercolor, you don't necessarily, but with the acrylic paint, you definitely need to wash them up pretty quickly. And before you put them in a plastic bag to seal up for later, make sure they're good and dry because you don't want them molding. Let's have a pink flower. Just doing that with a sponge and we're going to make a flower down here between them and that's kind of cute maybe get a little bit more make another one let's do one over here and then maybe I'll take this little circle that we cut out with the Dollar Tree foam looks good 
Okay. We'll take this one. This is the one, the Dollar Tree foam. I didn't cut it even on the back side, so I would probably use this front side, which the back side's kind of flaking off on me. So I'd use this front side, and we're going to wet it. I'll just rake this across of lots of different colors, and we'll just have a colorful flower. And we'll just put it right there. That's pretty. After I get them heat set, then I'm going to take them to the wash and I'm going to wash them and I'm going to see how much color stays in them, if any. So I don't really know. At this point, I don't know whether it's going to stay in there or not. So it's all a good trial and see if it's going to work. So let me know if anybody tries any of this. I'm going to go heat set these. When I get that done, we're going to make some background papers out of tissue and things like that. Be right back. While my other things with cloth are in the wash, I just thought we would play a little bit and do some backgrounds. This is just some tissue paper. If you haven't tried these acrylic paints from the Dollar Tree, I wanted to show you about them being a little stiffer than what a lot of the acrylic paints are. And they're kind of thick like this. Okay, so that's the colors from the Dollar Tree. And what I would do is I would take um, some water and wet them down. And then we're going to take the red and you just kind of have to mix it up quite a bit because it have to thin it out. And then we're just going to take and put the sponge in it. And this is just for background paper, so it doesn't really matter how much we get in there, but I want a good amount to make sure it's all on there. And then we're just gonna put it down on our paper. There we go. And let's put some wings on it. I'm gonna mix that white in with the blue and lighten it up a little bit. Go ahead and wipe my palette knife off. That's a good way to wipe it off. And put the wing over here. And then the other one. See if we can get enough blue out of that one to put it on the other side. Actually, I think I'm gonna have to have a little bit more blue. And maybe just a tad, a little bit more white. And make the wing over here. We could have put it a little bit closer. And then, oh, we could try the crown. And we're going to do the crown in yellow. And we're going to put the crown right here. And there we go. We're just going to cover the rest of it up with some stars. And I'm just going to use whatever paint we got left. I'm not going to use the black. I'm going to try to avoid the black, but I'm going to use whatever paint we have left here. The red and the blue are mixed together. Let me mix that yellow in with it. I don't know what the color that will make. Probably mud. Yep, yeah, looks like brown. It's okay. Try a little bit more blue. Might as well use some of this paint I've had for a while. Plus, you can get it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter, so it's not a big deal if you use it up. We need to use up more of our supplies and not just leave them sitting around forever. Let's do the frog in the green. I'm gonna put him over here somewhere. 
I think I hear my washer go off. I'm excited to see if any of that is going to hold up in the wash. I'm hoping some of it will. I don't know if I'm going to put it through the dryer. I don't know. Maybe I should. Okay, so this is just a piece of tissue paper, and we're just making designs. Let me show you what I do with little stars. This turned out really cute. This was done with the watercolor paints. Now, I may get out the other acrylic paints. You can tell the difference in the cheaper ones and these. Do this red. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's some pretty paint there. Let's get our big flower in the water. Ooh, I'd love to see those all puff up. Probably need a little bit more. It's going to take up more paint than I thought to fill that. So I'm going to have to get a little bit more of that. So let's do a big red flower here. Pretty. And before we even add any more to it, I'm going to try another one over here. Yep. Oh, it looks like it's still got plenty on it, so we're going to go over here. Yeah, that's got plenty. All right, then we're going to take the center, the little round center we got, and just dab it in the yellow and dab it off a little bit and see if we can make some centers for the flowers. All right, and then we've got these leaves. This is the one we also cut out of the Dollar Tree foam. One of my leaf underneath my flowers, not on top of them. So I'm just gonna lay this down on top of the flower and then put the leaf here coming out of the flower. There. Oops, again, too much paint. Let's try that again. Let's have it over here on this side. And use that as a mask. All right. And then just let them dry and you can use these in any of your projects. So if you have an art journal page that you want to do something on, I have a video on these. I've made these using mica powders from the Dollar Tree. So I have these and I like to have a background sometimes. So if you like to do that, I just spray this and then you can do some stamping on top of this. Maybe I want this red flower down here. If you have an art journal page, add some stamping to. Using your sponges, uh, just stamp some designs on there. So I need to go wash up and then I'll check my washer and see if I can bring you the results of our um, stamping on fabric. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And I've got our fabric pieces that we painted on out of the washer and dryer and I'll show you how they turned out. So this was the paint from Walmart. I don't think it lost any color. The only thing I should have done was to paint some and not wash them and then wash some and actually be able to see the difference. Those I think turned out really good. This is the other ones that was painted with this so I don't think they lost any color and they feel good it doesn't have a rough texture to it like it did even before it was washed so that turned out really good this one it was the uh, artist grade acrylics and they didn't fade out I don't think they may have faded out a little bit but they they're a little they're still rough I mean they're in there but it's still rough Okay, and then we had the Dollar Tree acrylics. I had better hopes for these. 
I was hoping they would turn out about like this. So they are kind of there, but really they pretty much faded out and washed out completely. Can't even really tell what side was supposed to be the right side on this. I think it was this one. Just because it didn't work for me, that doesn't mean y'all don't try it and, you know, try something for yourself and see if it works. Now, of course, the ones we did with watercolors, I didn't really expect them to last, but some of them are still in there, which is really surprising to me. Most of them washed out, of course. Anyway, that's the results of our painting with our sponges, and um, I hope y'all try this technique if you can find any of this pressed foam. I know they have it on Amazon. I know they have it in smaller sheets in different colors. I'm not sure what the name of it is. I just looked for pressed foam. You can hand cut this too. You can take and draw uh, like a heart or something and then take your scissors and cut it out too, of course. And then, of course, you can take the ones I did from the Dollar Tree foam and then just run it through your cutter and cut them out. I'm gonna be making a project probably for the next video on using the foam cutouts. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a wonderful day.